Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Bella's for Life. I'm Ashley, this is my husband Joe, and we are doing our second segment of the murder mystery, the old and hidden secret. So where we left off last time, we went over our suspects. So our suspects, we were trying to find out the killer for who killed Sinclair, right? And these are our suspects. And if you want to watch our first video, so you get to hear a little bit of background about that. I'm so sorry about that ring light. Um, I will link our first video in the description below so you can watch that so you kind of get a little bit of background. So basically, really fast, this gentleman was killed and we are trying to figure out who did it from these suspects. So in our last one, we had just read Rosemary Clark, who is that mystery author, and she tells us that we should open the Ambrosia Hotel bag, which is this bag right here. We're opening it, opening. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. So we have game pieces and a bunch of other things right here. So this looks like cards. Well, let's see what it says. Is there instructions? To Rosemary Clark. There's a letter to Rosemary Clark. It says, I found out who killed Emerald Carter. Ooh. It's an ancestor of one of the people staying here at the hotel tonight. I am going to reveal what I found at dinner. I also found out why Emerald was killed. I'm pretty sure the descendant of the killer knows that I've cracked the case. In the event something happens to me, you should consider them your top suspect. I'm leaving some clues about how to retrace my steps, starting with some useful information in the room safe. The game is afoot, so to speak. I'm assigning game pieces to these secret keeping guests based on things I treat I learned about them. Use what you know about each suspect to figure out which colored game piece they correspond to and what their secret is. You'll need this information later. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Um, it says red player rolls three, rolls two, rolls five, rolls three. And it says, oh yeah, I found these are the secrets I learned about each guest. The red one has connections to the mob. Okay, okay, we're gonna lay out the suspects like this. Okay. Um, that makes me think that Diego is the red piece, right? Because he has the largest mob collection, memorabilia, right? Maybe. So I'm going to guess that. The green one secretly deals drugs. Who deals drugs? No one. No, someone does. He's a movie star. He's a newscaster. She is a fashion designer. She is a uh, socialite and he is a something. Someone deals drugs in here then. Okay. Um, the black one is a kleptomaniac. I think it's her. Why? I don't know. I just think she's a kleptomaniac. I think it is the socialite, Mona. I think she is a kleptomaniac. Um, so I'm going to put the black one on her. Just just for kicks and giggles. Um, the blue one is an ex-con that suffers from crippling claustrophobia. Who do you think it is? The white one is a smuggler. The yellow one is an assassin with over 10 confirmed kills. Woo! That's a tough one, you guys. So, you think that he's the killer? Okay, so Joe thinks that Frederick is the assassin with over 10 confirmed kills. So we are gonna put the yellow one on him. I 
think Lucy is a smuggler. Or what do you think? Yeah. What, what were you going to say? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, so I think that Lucy Lou, the fashion designer, is a smuggler. And that leaves the ex-con who suffers from crippling claustrophobia and someone who secretly deals drugs. And we have left the movie star and we have McAllister. So I think... Mm, Who's the actor? Who was left? We have the green one who secretly deals secretly deals drugs, and we have the one that's an ex-con that suffers from crippling claustrophobia. I think the movie star is the ex-con. No. No. You think he deals drugs? No. Well, what do you think? Oh, you think the movie star is the killer? Well, no. I'm going to think he's got a yellow tie. Um, look at you, smarty mm. pants. So Joe chose the newscaster because he wears a yellow tie and he's known to wear the yellow tie all the time. And he's, the yellow piece is the assassin. So he thinks the newscaster is the assassin because the yellow piece matches the yellow tie. Um, okay, so that leaves the green who secretly deals drugs and the blue one is an ex-con that suffers from crippling claustrophobia. Okay, so... Joe put the blue one, which is an ex-con that suffers from crippling claustrophobia, on Harlan McAllister, which is the gentleman who bought the hotel and renovated and invited everyone there. Okay, so that would leave the green, which is the person who secretly deals drugs, and we're going to put that on Jackson, who is the movie star celebrity. Okay, so... Oh, interesting. Okay, so... It looks like we have a little game board of some sort. But we don't have dice. So there's got to be dice somewhere else. What do you have in your hand? Okay, so we have Search Sinclair LeCompte's room. Okay, so that's the QR code that we need to scan. There's an, wow, okay, there's lots. There's lots of QR codes to scan. Here's another one. And here's another one. So there's actually four of these that we need to scan and where's that first we also have these cards of some sort which I'm not entirely sure what they are so let's see here it talks about the safe in here doesn't it Oh, those are the cards that go correspond with the uh, playing pieces. Because the playing pieces go on the board, actually. So I'm going to take... What was it? The green was a drug dealer. So, so they actually correspond with the different um, things. So I'm going to put dealer on him. And I'm going to put mobster on him and I'm going to put assassin on him I'm going to put smuggler on her I'm going to put klepto on her and I'm going to put ex-con on him okay so we need to scan these okay so on the briefcase it says the scores for Morello, McAllister, and Vu will get you in. So this one's passcoded, obviously. So we can't open that one yet. Um, the other ones don't say anything. This looks like it might be a wardrobe or something. This is just searching his room, and then this looks like a safe. Can you see your phone? I'm just getting this one first and then taking it room. Mm -hmm. That works. So we are going to do the QR code that searches LeConte's room. So we have to stop the music so we can use the QR code. <laughs> okay. Ooh, start here.
flowing. Do we have to create an account? It looks like we might have to create an account on something. I'm gonna pause while we figure this out. Okay, and we're back. So, you wanna show them some of the pictures? Oh wow, okay, so you can tap on things. So it shows his room, and that's his bed, and you can tap on, like if you tap on the lamp, it shows you the inside of the lamp. So you can search. See, there's the inside. I know that that light is horrid. It shows you the inside of the lamp. Oh, it's Aladdin. Inside of the lamp. Anyway, okay, so that's a number two. And it's allowing us to see books on his shelf. Well, I guess it's not his shelf, is it? It's just the books that were in the room. And he's trying to tap on the books to see if anything opens. Because it's just a picture of books is all. It's a repeating book, so it's a pattern. Oh, aren't you clever. It's repeating. If you look at the... Here you look I'm trying you'll see a pattern the red books the white books the blue books the brown books right so there is a pattern going on with the books I didn't even notice Joe caught it and there's a megaphone We're trying to see if we can tap on anything or if anything's there. Now there's a clock. Oh, what time does the clock say? The clock shows nine, nine, nine oh nine. I believe that's what it is. Nine oh nine, right? Am I reading that right? 910, 909, because it's just above the, looks like 909 or something like that. Oh, we got. And that's his whole room. Is a lamp, the bookshelf, um, the clock, and the megaphone. So when you click on the lamp, it shows that there is a number two in there. And that's it, it's the number two. Well, we need to look at it some more though. I mean, you can try skinning these ones if you want and see what they'll do. But I have a feeling that that pattern with the books has something. Isn't this so exciting? Just watching us look at a phone. Okay, so we need a password for this one, so we can't go there yet. What about this one? We probably need a password for this as well. Yep. Okay, so this is password protected as well. That, so is this look. So that's password. Yeah. It's password protected. Oh, let me see. Okay. Could be wrong. Okay. 
So there's obviously something in his room that we missed. Okay. It's talking about rolls on this, but we don't have any oh, dice. Oh, you look back here. It says, you'll need this. Information later. What information? The rolls. One, skip one turn, two, move forward, three, move backwards. There was a two on the lamp. This is interesting, you guys. I honestly am not sure about this. That's... He's trying to make sure that we have everything in the bag. Where's the wardrobe key? It's right here. That's the wardrobe. See? So we have a game board. Six pieces. So it's a stationary. I don't know. Do we not get that? Nothing in here. Oh, it's this. This yeah. is the stationery. It's got to be in LeCount's room, love. Safe card. Can I look? Search Sinclair's room card. Wardrobe sheet. Back to the six cards. Suspect sequence. It's all there. Be in here. Those cards. Mother, they're all password protected. Is it? Is okay. it? I think it's going to be more than one number. I don't know. <sighs> this is a combination of the rolls. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay, you got it. Yep. Okay, so go back to his room, please. Just looking at his room and see if anything is out of place. I bet you watch this, watch this. <clears throat> so the first player, the red player rolls three. One, two, three. So he stays down to three. Then he rolls. Wouldn't you two. do the first turn for everybody? One, two, no. I don't know. Love doesn't specify that. He rolls a two. That puts him on a gift. What does a gift mean? 
After all four rolls are completed, add two points to your final score for each gift you land on during the game play. The highest number after four rolls wins. So he gets to roll four times. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, so he landed on a gift, so that's plus well, we gotta two. Keep, you got to keep track of the other numbers. Do you have a pen? No, Ellie, I don't have a pen. I will get a pen. notebook okay so we're doing the red player okay so we have three, two yeah. no it is have two or three three okay three then he rolls a two two which gives him two points for each gift so he gets two points for getting okay. a gift four what are you doing this for what is this well, I started writing down two because he got the gift, but you said no, he was three. He got three points for that, so just write a three down. Are you sure he gets three points? Well, yeah, because he rolls a three. One, two, three, so he gets three. Okay. Then he rolled two, which got him the gift, which gives him what? Two extra. So he's four. Got four. And then he rolls a five. One, two, three, four, five, which is ten. Mm-hmm. And then he rolled a three. One, two, three, thirteen. Okay, so we have twenty-three. Thirty. So green player rolled a five. One, two, three, four, five. So he gets how many points he gets for radio bag? Why you roll five for? Five. No, did he get a gift? He won't get five points for a roll. It's just there's no way to roll. So you move five spaces. I thought you said he landed on five. Okay, so two. So wait. Yeah, you did your math wrong here because you counted the uh, thing like that's supposed to. It's like rolling a dice, love. Yes, love. Yeah, see this? You get this all over again. No, you got three. No. You got. Just stop. One, two, three. Then he rolls two, which gives him the present. Which is two. Okay, just put a two there. Plus ten. Well, Plus thirteen. Okay, there you go. Just add that up. Twenty-eight. So present. The circle though means move backward. No, move forward. Two backward. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, one move forward. He gets a present. So the bullseye was just back two. So he gets fifteen. Then you roll the one. Which is what? 16. So he has... Twenty-five. Sorry, in case you guys don't know what he's doing, he has taken our game board and he is just counting out... Um, what the players rolled on this paper so it says that they rolled such and such they rolled such and such and he's just counting them out and we're writing them down on this paper and we're adding them up all together so we know what each player has rolled and how many points that is so black he has a gift okay
28. Eighty three. I am blue. Ten. Mm -hmm. Present. Mm -hmm. What a gift. Mm -hmm. Twenty eight. Forty two. Ten. Twenty. Was it not twenty? It wasn't the other one. Sixty one. Gift. Ten. Twenty. Thirty one. I gotta I gotta redo white today. I messed it up. Okay. Okay, go for what? <coughs> so gift. Mm -hmm. Gift again. Mm -hmm. Gift. Thirty. Oh, do not. That's an alarm on my husband's phone. All right, so red is twenty-eight, green is twenty-five, black is eighty-three, blue is forty-two, white is thirty-six, and yellow is sixty-three. So it looks like black would win out of that. No one. Well, let's look at this. So the secrets for, so it's Murillo, McAllister, and Boo will get you in the scores. So if we're right about who they are, right? If we're right about who they are, so let's see. So sorry, excuse me. Okay, so if we think I gotta look at these colors to match them up. 
let's see here, the red is this dude, and the yellow is this dude, and the black is her, and the white is her, and the blue is him, and the green is him. So, him, which is the red, so it's 28, and McAllister, which is green, which is 25, and then Vu, which is white, which is 36. Nope. So then we can't be right about them. Nope. Are you sure you got the rolls right? Yes. Okay. So, if that's not right, that means we don't have the people right. And... I've been told by my trusty sidekick that the video is becoming too long. So, we are going to try and figure out who we have missed up. Um, again, we think that McAllister, the guy that bought the hotel, we think he is an ex-con. Well, it don't matter what we think because it's not right. So, it has to be redone. So, that's that. I was going to ask them what they thought. Well. So, McAllister, the guy that bought the hotel, we think is an ex-con. Um, the socialite, I think is a klepto. The fashion designer, I think is a smuggler. Um, the newscaster, we think is an assassin. Um, the, who was this dude? The hedge fund manager, we think has connections to the mob. And the superstar celebrity, we think is a drug dealer. So, on that note, <laughs> We will see you next time. Let us know if you think that's correct or if you think we have them mixed up or who you think is what. So let us know what you think. Until next time. Bye. Bye.